Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and run Google Test in Video Studio 2010. Google Test is one of the best C++ unit test framework available as of today, which is in 2013. If you are a software engineer and you have never written any unit test, then you are strongly recommended to start it as soon as possible. Setting up Google Test in Visual Studio 2010 is similar to setting it up in NetBeans. It only takes four easy steps. Step 1, download Google Test and extract it to a directory, let's call it gtest.dir. Step 2, compile Google Test into a library. Step 3, create a unit test project. Step 4, create a test case. Today I'm going to walk you through the four steps of setting up unit test with Google Test. This is our design under test. It's a class called MyStack. It is a stack of integer and it has three APIs, push, pop, and to stream. The first step is go to this website of Google Test. You can get there by searching Google Test uh, on the web. And then download this file. It's a zip file. After downloading it, extract all the files to a directory. This is where I saved all the files. At the top level, there's only one folder. Inside it, there are a bunch of folders. But what's interesting to us is the source folder, which contains all the source files for the Google test. The samples folder, which contains the examples that demonstrate how to use Google Test. The Include folder. This is one of the paths that we need to put into our Include path. Now we are at step 2. Compile the Google Test into a library. First create a new project of static library. Then add the Include path. There are two paths need to be included. Lastly, add the source file, gtest all and gtest main. So first, right click our solution and add new project. Video C++ Win32 project. And let's give it name called Google Test and click OK. And then next, select static library. Let's not use the pre-compiled headers. Finish. Now we have a new project called Google Test. Right click and select properties. We need to add a include path. Here is the include path. Add it. So this is where I have downloaded the Google test files. And we need another one, which is this include directory. So we need the to include path. And click OK. And then add source files into the Google test project. Add existing items. So I have navigated to the place where I have downloaded the Google test files. And click it. And click source the two files, gtest main and gtest all. Add them into the directory. And now I can build the Google test library. Build. And build succeeded. That's great. Now we are into step 3. Create a unit test project. First, create a new application project. Then, add the include path of the Google test path and our design under test path. Lastly, add 
project reference for both the Google test and the design under test projects. So right click solution, add new project. This time we'll select this one. Let's call it unit test my stack. Click OK. Next, let's not include the pre-compiled header. And now we have a third project, unit test my stack. And we can remove all these garbages. Then we need to add the path. Additional include path. And again, the path to the Google test. Include. And we need a third one, which is the path to our design under test. Under this one. Yeah. OK. Click OK. And then we need to link both libraries to this unit test project. Right click, References, Add New References, Google Test. Add another one, My Stack. OK, the unit test project is set up. And our last step is creating a test case. We have opened the unit test my stack.cpp file. And let's create a test. Include the path gtest gtest.h. Include the head file of our design under test my stack.h. Then let's create a test. Test. The first one is test case name. Let's call it test stack. Second one is test name. Let's call it simple test. First create a my stack. My stack st. And st push. Push a number into it. Four and uh, expect equal four is the expected value, and actual value is st dot pop. So I'm expecting what's being popped out is also four. So this is our first unit test with Google Test. Let's make this project a startup project and run the program. As you see, one test from test stack, which is a test stack dot simple test, and this test is OK. And in the end, it reports one test has passed. Congratulations! You have finished your first step of using Google Test. That's all for today. Feel free to check out the other videos I have, and see you next time.